so hey everyone the latest version of flutter gpt is out now it is an ai copilot specially designed for flutter developers and it's completely open sourced and free to use let me show you how simply open your visual studio code ide then go to extensions and search for flutter gpt then click install and once the extension is installed you just need to go to extension settings and fetch your Gemini API key from here and then you need to paste that API key here once you have done it your flutter GPT setup is complete and now you can easily use it now let's take a look at our advanced chat interface and it can be used for multiple functionalities such as create a card for me with blue background color and let's say rounded white borders and here we have gotten our result and if you want to merge it inside your code simply click on this merge icon and it will flawlessly merge it inside your code or if you want to copy this code and paste it somewhere else you can also do it just like that okay now let's take a look at the advanced use case of the chat view where you can even query your workspace for example at workspace help me find the router code and its location inside the app and now it will find the most relevant files and prepare a result for you now the flutter gpt has given us the response where it says the router code is located in live config custom router which is correct and provided me the code as well so now let's ask a subsequent query for example help me understand above piece of code and there it is here's a breakdown of complete code where it has explained each code snippet to us so that's our chat view now let's take a look at some of the very handy features that are provided by flutter gpt for example we as developers just keeps on coding and almost forget to optimize our code to do that just click on the class name and select quick fix by command i and just click on optimize profile screen and it will flawlessly start optimizing the code screen for you and there you have it now the code is completely optimized now let's take a look at another use case we as developers almost always forget to refactor our code so let's say i want to refactor this load data then i'll just click on refactor and add a structure for example implement try catch block here and there you have it the flutter gpt has refactored our code and included the try catch finally block in our code Okay, now let's take a look at another use case. For example, you want to create a widget out of an image. You can also do that inside Flutter GPT. Just hit Shift Command P and widget and Flutter GPT create widget from image or description. And then it will ask you to attach an image. Yes. And then you can attach your image and maybe give an instruction. For example, create the following container. but keep the background color as white and it has implemented our container code successfully where it has kept the background color as white and all our border colors as red similar to how the image looks and this is all possible because of the Gemini multi-model capabilities okay so now let's take a look at another feature where we can provide it a set of instructions and it will create a code for you. We call it blueprint at flutter GPT. So now let's take a look. There you go. It has successfully generated our set of instructions at code for us. This is very helpful in the case where we don't want to spend our time writing the code instead make our time more valuable by thinking about the instructions that we need to provide. Okay folks, that's all for this release. At last, we really want to thank our contributors who helped us build and ship these features to you. And we would love to know what else features would you like to see from us. That's all for now, signing off.